you know, y'all know what it is. I'm another grown ass man toys podcast. I am your boy, Marvelous Shots. I'm Fletch Four, oh, yeah, this two, five. I am the real comrade. Tonight is a special, oh, yeah, special interview. We got a um, somewhat of a popular, popular uh, Instagram guy on here. He's a movie. Conrad. It's the movie, Conrad. You want to tell him who we got on here tonight? All right. So this has been a long time coming, man. Some some people call it full circle. <laughs> got nothing other than Agent Gomez. Woo! Agent Gomez. Thank you for the introduction. That was funny. Yeah. <laughs> What's um, popping, man? What's going on? Nothing much, man. Just packing up, about to head to Mexico for my sister's wedding, and wanted to come on here with you guys and chat some toys. Thanks for inviting me. Okay. Yeah. Thanks for Thank coming, you. man. Appreciate you being on here with us tonight. Yeah, for sure. So the man behind the camera. That's yeah. him. That's him right there. Yep. <laughs> so I actually quick. just got a camera. Sorry. Nice. Okay, real quick. Um, my first question to you is, what's up with the name? How did you come up with the name Agent Gomez? Mm. Mm-mm. So I, yeah, like I, um, I don't know if you guys relate to this, but I'm like, I'm now 30. So when I got into toys, I was like, you know, older and Mezco was like the first thing I cl- like clung to. And before I started posting pictures, I was obsessed with the roach. And so that was kind of like my intro into it all. So I kind of stuck with the name before they were a big, like before Gomez was massive and like no one had used it yet. So I felt mm. really lucky that I got the Gomez name. Nice. Yo, Mesco was doing them three-inch figures back in the back in. How long ago was that for you with the Mesco? Uh, oh, oh, I would say like a year before the pandemic is probably when Gomez oh, dropped, okay. and that's when I fell in love. Like I had a Moon Knight from Mesco, and it was it was all right, but like I wanted to pose it, and I was about to rip the suit, and I was like, eh. and then this weird roach came, and I was like, yo. I need this weird fucking thing. Can I curse on here? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. We cool. bunch of then, yeah, this, this guy on Facebook was like, bro, I don't I hate this ugly piece of shit. Do you want it for like 70 bucks? And I was like, Yeah. And he like came by my house and I was like, Oh, I need every single one they ever make moving forward. This is a new way of life. And now I'm here. Nice. <laughs> yeah, that, that the Gomez, the Gomez line, I, mean, I wasn't really familiar with it. Of course, Marvelous uh put me on to how valuable these guys are. Dude, it's and it's like a, like anything you want it to be almost. Like this guy can do anything. Like he's a, he can be a superhero. He can be an agent, like your name. He can be a, a villain. Almost anything you want. You know? and I, yeah. I don't understand how they came up with the concept, but I think it's pretty clever. You know that they can be so versatile with one character. Totally. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And it's yeah. cool because like each figure sometimes has his own theme, like that one that you have right now on the screen. Mm-hmm. That's the, um, what Gomez is that? Is that the uh, Union. Union, Union worker <laughs> Gomez. So that's a hard working Gomez, and then they got yeah. the ninja <laughs> ones. Yeah. It, they got the space hero one. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They got all types of, of, of Gomez figures out there. Um, Do you have them all, or do you? I have them all, yeah. I, uh, <laughs> I think it's just dope. Like I just got the space one in last night and like, you know, they, the fact that they're like writing like comics for nice. their own IP is like so much love. Like I just, in my head, I, I, I don't know the guy, but in my head, I'm like, wow, this guy's so passionate about like Batman and Spider-Man. He's like, yo, I want to do one. And then right. he does his own in the midst of all these big franchises. And to me, it just like hits. I'm like, this is like a passion project on wild. And like, it's inspiring. Like at one point I would love to, write a comic book, get some dope ass toys made for it. And like, right. do this, I think it's just super cool. So yeah, you, um, go ahead. Wanna, yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I want to see how much of a Gomez fan you really are, man. Let me check oh. the next question. <laughs> so I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm going to regret it, but the, I forgot the names of them, but it's the, it's um like, it, it's two of them and they're very expensive. One of them is wearing like an all white suit, like a white the shadow suit. assassins, the shadow. No, assassins, I don't black. have, I don't have those two. I have the black one. I have the black oh. one. I don't have the white one because it's like an Asian, uh, Asian global exclusive. Yeah. And I, 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 I'm okay on that one, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> it's about eight hundred dollars to get it off eBay. It's, Gee. 
when I started, it was like 400, which was still like, at that point I wasn't spending money like this on toys. So even then I was like, oh my God, how could you ever do this? This is financially irresponsible. But now, <laughs> now there's, that's not a term I use when it comes to toys. And two, the, they've remastered those suits. So the newer ninjas that are bad guys, they basically, they're more articulate. Like the suits are just better fitting. Uh, right. The older ones are like a little tighter where you could like flex and bust like out of the old suits. So I'm, I like, I like to pose them and yeah, I'm, I passed on that one. I don't feel like the collector urge to like finish, make my life with it. But yeah, it is a cool one, but I'm not tripping. So you getting, um, you have every Gomez besides the, the um, Asian, yes. the white one, but mm -hmm. do you have every like um, Rumble <laughs> Society figure as well or no? Except for yellow Krig because I was kind of like not loving all the Krig. They, they made this enemy group of like aliens. And of course I was like, I'm going to be a good man and just not buy everything. And of course, <laughs> immediately regretted, immediately regretted. I'm going to buy him. He will be bought probably this week. I, I because now the space shit's coming, but also the, uh, the monster the, they made that monster guy. Um, what's his name? The Theodore Sodcutter. Theodore Sodcutter. Mm -hmm. okay. I don't have him, but they're about to drop the blue version, and I'll probably just get the blue and call it a day uh, with him. I don't really love the heart. It's a single jointed figure, which isn't my favorite. So I pass on him and, again, immediately regretted, but I will have every Rumble Society. Yes, 100%. And there just to let you know, on that figure, his arms are really long, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Careful. Careful with the joints. Yeah. What does allow them to be snapping and breaking, and this sucks, man. Oh. I saw so much about that, man. Well, people yeah. are literally modding it with like a Rebel Tech joint because they kept snapping, and that also is a they re they re released them actually. Like it sold out, went up to like four hundred bucks for the toy. Then they did a round two, and I was like, I just don't want to deal with it snapping on me because I'll I'll need a new one, and it's going to be expensive for sure. Yo, so the Mezco for you is pretty. It seems like it's pretty fun right now because you you're, you're getting the Gomez. You have a goal in mind with having them all. I, I came in. I kind of. I'm one of the guys that came and went. Like I, I came, okay. tried it out, and I'm like, I don't know, bro. Sometimes they do a lot with one figure, mm -hmm. or Wolverine, or you know, they give you everything, and then they'll give you something like a, I don't know, like a let's just say a Batman, you know, and then it won't be all like wow, you know, for me. And I'm like, totally. I don't. How do? How do they? How do they gauge how much they want to give the, the consumer for the price point? It's kind of weird. Just me just looking at it, you know, and I'm like, ah, I couldn't really get the hang of like collecting all of them because sometimes I felt like some things weren't worth the money. Like the Ghost yeah. Rider, Ghost Rider, Thanos. Yeah, so I yeah. feel like that they go all out when it comes to their Gomez figure. For their stuff, yeah. Because that's their logo, you mm -hmm. know. If you notice, if you, if you collect any of the um, Gomez, you can see they got like a hundred hands. So many weapons. Backpack. They got the radio. They got the weapons. They got the little roach. Even he comes with some stuff sometimes. Yeah. You yeah. Get. But when you get like a Thanos or a Wolverine, you only get the basic stuff. You know? Thought we wouldn't notice, but we did. No? Yeah, no. Some of some of them they tried. They gave us you know a considerable amount of stuff, and it would light up and stuff like that. Yeah, the Wolverine is my favorite. Oh my goodness! So, <clears throat> what I'm saying is, like, do you feel like Mezco is like still riding the hype, or are they trying to hang on? In my opinion, I don't feel like they're doing everything they can do. It's a lot of drops that you gotta fulfill. You know, the responsibility of committing to like there was so many things teased, but they didn't. They doing yeah, it. I think they're like really smart because they open up a pre-order window and they sell everything they have. They don't hold inventory, which like I work in business. That's so smart to say like, hey, who wants it? We're going to make X amount and a few extras to have giveaways with and replacement parts. But like they're all going to go. So I feel like their business model is like genius versus a Hasbro, which today everything went on sale half off. Like yeah. that's probably going to fuck you. You're going to get fucked. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. most toy lines do that. Even like I've seen Mafex, the toys that you don't really want so much will drop down to like 40 bucks. And it's like, that hurts you. So I think Mezco is really smart at gauging their, like their reach and then dropping it. But I, I think like I don't, the Power Ranger, for example, the green Power Ranger came decked out. Like he is 
filled with shit. And mm. I know, and like, it's really cool because they're doing a five box set. Mm -hmm. The Ninja Turtles they're doing look mm -hmm. 10 out of 10. They're the best turtles I've ever seen, probably. Yeah. Fantastic yeah. Four looks amazing. And then, you know, for Spider-Man, which was cool, they didn't just give you Spider-Man. And they do that a lot where you'll get one and you're hoping eventually they'll come back. They were like, it was Spider-Man, Goblin, Oct, done. <laughs> that's a good, like, that's, I, I like that. So I think they're, I, I really like Mezco, but I, I don't disagree that some figs are getting like a head, hands, and a weapon. And it's kind of like, you know, if it's your favorite toy, I get it. You want them in a soft, good looking. Mezco shoots the best. So I, I would get purchasing just one toy, but I really just stick to their their line. That's what I buy from them. I don't, I need my superheroes to be able to like Spider Man pose. And Mezcos are not that articulated because right. of the suit restrictions. And mm -hmm. they're going for aesthetic over like anything else. I yeah. def definitely the um definitely the only line like that that I've seen that just <clears throat> it's so so beautiful to shoot you know a mezco and know that it's gonna look somewhat like a person yeah and certain things is just a uh, Justice League repack <laughs> never happened Gotham Gaslight some things never happened so but then when they do come out with stuff it, it looks really good and I'm like uh, are they gonna ever remember the people that pre order those things I wonder what they do with the money I'm gonna keep it real with you. I'm wondering what they're doing with the pre-order money. I'm just saying. But, yeah. you know, again, it is a smart thing to, to push your stuff first. Yeah, I mean, I, you know, it's hard with, like, big business. Like, I don't know how they're importing it if it's a quality control issue. But at the end of the day, like, I, I do a lot of Kickstarter backing. So I'm mm -hmm. okay giving out money because I want something and waiting two years. Ideally speaking, I'm, like, instant fix kind of guy, but I'm okay with it. So I know that, like, the relationship with Mezco is, like, at some point I will get this back and it, it, they, they won't not fulfill it. Um, but it does take a while, but I, I don't know if you play with their Conan though. That's another figure. That's like one of the best I've ever like touched. Yeah. Their, their Conans are like gorgeous, bro. Fire. Yeah. So dope. Yeah. I if, you wanna ask you that. yeah. Wait, wait. if it wasn't for Marvelous Shots, I, I would have never got a Conan. <laughs> I wouldn't even know that feeling of having to own a Conan. Been price so bad, bro. Don't do a price like crazy. Yeah, but dude, he just comes with so much shit. And then on top of that, in the marvelous auction, I was able to get the um the accessory pack. Mm -hmm. Um oh, okay. so Ooh. now it's just like more ideas now. I, it's like having a Conan and then having two more figures. Characters, figures. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Um so, man, I opened it, man, and I was like, wow, this is the hype. And yeah, it's worth it. It's good. It's, it's really so good. good. Yeah. I agree. I agree. I was, I was going to ask you. So you, I know you collect the Gomez's, but you pretty much collect anything Mezco, pretty much. No, no. I'm like pretty strict to Rumble Society, except for I got the Power Ranger because it was a Comic Con exclusive. Yeah. Um, and I was like, let me just grab him because I love Green Ranger and he's fire. And then, um, well, I think. Oh, I have and Conan. They're my two that are like breaking my rule of Rumble and that. But no, I don't. I, I tend to lean Legends and Mafex and Rebel Tech because I like to like make them look crazy. And yeah. when you're doing it, you can't, you just, it's, Mezco is not for that. It's more like, not a statue, but like, it, you're just not getting yeah. the same type of movement. You it's know? kind of like right. portrait shots. Like, you yeah, know. yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. are, are you going to get all the Power Rangers being that you have the green one? <sighs> I don't think so. I think I'm going to cap mm -hmm. off um, with them just because I, I just don't want to have five more. I, my, I'm, we're moving soon, but I have a lot of my Mezco shelf is obese right now. It's it's chubby <laughs> as hell, dude. There's no more room for anything. I gotta like get a new setup and like expand out and like really strategically place this shit because this collection is like getting out of hand for sure. So, crazy. Right so do you have your own like um like a uh, room like your own collector room or you just have uh, like your personal? I, my we have an off we have a two bedroom apartment so in there my, my wife works in there and then like the whole one wall is like shelves racks and like all toys on the one wall like detox and stuff and then so yeah. we share the space right now but like at nighttime when i shoot it's like open it's like mine and then i shoot in the living room on like we have a huge table and i yeah. get like a lot of room to like set up so it's dope yes yeah. i noticed that when you do um you, you're pretty great uh imposing when you do your reels and i noticed he's in the freaking kitchen yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> actually cooking in the kitchen yeah <laughs> i like second. unbox on the counter I like clean yeah. it all off and shit. Mm -hmm. cool. now my question for you is how how's the missus feeling about it like that she's like oh my god you're gonna put that right next to the coffee maker 
Uh, I mean, she's super supportive about it in the sense, like, she's like, it's hype with me. She like knows like, oh, that's a cool pick. Like we'll comment on it. Help me like boost the algorithm. Like when I drop and stuff, but yeah. there's like definitely like space wise, like she likes a really clean aesthetic and I love action figures. So like, I would say it's, she's very reasonable, but yeah, like I, in an ideal space, I have like a garage set up that it's just like open territory and I can be like, a, like a man cave. Like that's a dream of mine is just a man. Cave. But I live in LA now. I'm from the East coast and it's expensive as hell out here to try to like get a man cave, bro. You're dropping money. Yeah. Yeah. I know it. I know it. So listen, so, um, I know you said that you're not getting the, the, the power range set, but you uh, spoke on the, uh, um, the Conan earlier. Did you get both versions of Conan or just one? I did. I have two of the newer one. And then this local collector was offloading one for like 70 bucks. Like even oh. though he was like selling for a really expensive price and yeah. I got, I got them locally like brand new. So I have three total. And like um, you were saying collector four, two, five, I like kind of dressed them up in the secondary gear with the little pack. And so I have just like barbarians kind of to rock with legions. So you have like legions versus barbarians, a mythic mm. legion line. Oh, you must make the legions too. Yeah, I do. I have a, I have a bit of them. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> yeah, um, me looking at your page right now as we all talking and stuff. Um, you are into everything, which is great. <laughs> That's That's dope. Dope. That's dope. Yeah, yeah, you're actually a collector like me. Like I'm into doing all types of um, toy photography and stuff like that. Um, now to get your page to 29k followers, how long have you had IG for? that's a number about two and a half three years like about three years i would say um mm. i'm just really consistent but and there's like a there's a rhythm to this like kind of how to like it, there it's like a strategy like i guess um and i just kind of follow the same recipe and that's why i post a lot of legends because right. nothing pops like legends like you will <laughs> not get that same following i love mezco but if you notice a lot of it is spider-man deadpool captain america they blow the fuck up every and and hand they picks. want yep, yeah that's what if you do that and you do that twice a day and you don't spam hashtags you do like five or six that are pertaining and you always have an active story and you do that every single day I, oh shit! say it again say something else. you will you, I get about like 1500 followers a month, every month. It's not, even if I go in crazy, it doesn't matter. It's about 1500 a month. And that's kind of like what I plan on, you know? Yeah. Cause hey, I've been yeah. doing photography since 2015. <laughs> okay. Barely, barely trying to make, I'm like barely making it to 4k. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's, it's crazy. Like he's got a point, you know, like, I don't know the consistency. Hashtags is a real thing because before hashtags used to make you get the the people that you never thought would see you, mm -hmm. and now the whole nother rhythm with his reels and yeah streams and so and and you don't you do the reels you you you're into yeah. it. I don't know if you always use the trending audio, but you definitely do the reels, and I think it gives people a lot more value in a shorter amount of time because totally it, just just skim through it, you know. With the reels, it's interesting because you want to find it before it's trending. That's like the secret to reels. If you like, people will be like, bro, terrible song choice. That's so stupid. I'm like, bro, if I didn't pick this and it didn't hit a million plays, you would have never seen it. Like, right. I'll pick whatever the fuck. If I hear something and I'm like, oh, that might pop off, I will pick that. Or if I hear it on TikTok, like, and it's low, like that little boo thing song, like, I saw that dude doing his thing, like, when he had like 2,000 follows. And it's like, I try to like, I, that's like something I'll do in my free time is like kind of hear trending audios on TikTok before they blow up and then bring it to Instagram before they blow up. And if I like the right matrix hits, it's like boom and it blows up. So like he's recently I've like hit a million. Yeah. He's curating the content. And yeah. For sure. it, that's nuts, bro. It's so I, not about skill on this. It's which is like kind of a bummer because like there's artists that are way better than me that have like five, six K and I'm like, dude, they should be the they should be number one. And I'm I'm yeah. just like cookie cutter recipe and it really does it really does work like it really does if y'all don't know man he giving i'm talking to the uh, um viewers now if you guys don't know that this man is giving you the game bro yeah he's giving you the game he, and, it's, and he's not selfish about it which we appreciate that because yeah. like it's because it's like I, I be saying that a lot like man it's 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 simple you just gotta like you said be consistent yeah and you that, have to work to, bro you gotta stick to the things that you know people like yeah like for example, I, like he, he mentioned the auction. I do my little auction thing on Saturdays. 
mm. where I, I off because I have a I have a um a guy who, who owns a comic shop and I go there and just pick whatever I want, pay him wholesale prices, and I'll just can come over and make some money off of it. Mm. Right. Mm-hmm. right. So it's like, but I was going in there buying stuff that I like mm-hmm. and trying to get it off, but it's like it don't work like that. You totally. have to see what they like. Yep. You because you're trying to sell to them. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So you have to buy for them, even though you may not like it. Hundred mm-hmm. percent. Mm-hmm. And that makes yeah. so and here you speak on that, it makes so much sense, man. It's just mm-hmm. that's that, that's what works, bro. So yeah. so is it, is it safe to say that a lot of the stuff that you review, because I and I appreciate you by the way, you know, you've been helping me with the hot water stuff. Yeah. And, uh, oh yeah, yeah. You're, you're looking out, bro. You're looking out, bro. So um um is it safe to say that a lot of stuff that you show on your page is not particularly your taste it's just something you want to show everyone else depends um i would i would say at this point i'm pretty much into a lot of things so it's like you know but originally like rebel tech was something i swore off of i was like nah like i had their carnage and their venom originals like i'm not doing this line i gave it another chance with the deadpool and that was like insane and then i was like oh shit so like that was one that i bought as like you know people will think this is dope Mm -hmm. um and like same with some legends and stuff. And then what I kind of do to like trick myself is like, I'll be like, all right, I don't care about this character. Let me read on the character. Then I'll be like, oh, he teamed yeah. up against Spider-Man here. That's dope. That's a good idea. Or like, oh, he was in the Sinister Six one time. Like that's a, and then I'll like kind of build more of a affinity toward the character. But like, there are things I purchase and I'm like, eh. And then I'm like, oh shit, I really like it. Or if I don't, because you know, this community is pretty like quick pace. You can like sell stuff like immediately. And in LA, it's really easy to trade or sell. Mm-hmm. Agreed. Agreed. So, let me ask you this: This is this, this is what I'm trying to figure out, right? Because I'm actually on Mass Codes. I was, I wasn't on here on purpose, but I was on here earlier. And that guy you have right there, the Slugfest guy. How did you get him? When he just <laughs> went up for, he's up now for pre-order for buy or whatever. How did Dude. you get him already? So like a miracle, I don't know. Um, I like my goal, like, I don't know. I always like set certain goals. And this was like one when I was like, I'm coming in here and I'm going to get Mezco exclusives. Like I'm going to be their guy that they like my pick so much. And mm. so that's what I, that's I'm agent Gomez. I literally would only, I only had Mezco when I started no legends, no anything. And um, huh. so I, you know, just, I try to like post my Mezcos in like really cool ways. And like, I'll, I'll tag them on everything that I do. And then they, um, they had reached out and were like, Hey man, like we want to, you know, want to work on a project with us. And I was like, yeah. And like you sign an NDA, it's like official as hell. And like, you know, you, you go through this process and then I didn't know what it was going to be. And then they sent me like the prompt and I was like, no way I get slugged fast. And so I got them about a month ago and uh, they were like, you know, do your thing and send us the pics. We'll approve them and everything. And I hope to do, I want to be like the D amazing in that style where you, he gets everything they do. Basically. I really want that opportunity. So I'm a, yeah, I'm super happy, super like grateful. It was crazy. I was like, "This is a dream come true." My wife was like, "Oh my god," because she like knew that's what I wanted like a year yeah. ago. I was like, "One day, mark that's my what, words." You that's know, what's up. Happen. That's amazing. Yeah, that's cool. amazing. Do you yeah, keep I, that stuff when you when you're done with it? Do you keep it? Is it yours or do you send it back? It's yours. It's it's oh. like payment. It's like your okay. payment for doing it. Um, recent and like, not even to like brag, but recently it's been crazy, bro. Like it's crazy, and like now I market myself. My wife made me like a really cool media package. Mm-hmm. And I recommend doing it, you know, highlight your best features and stuff. And I, mm-hmm. we will, I, I send it to people. So like, as I'll see like a lot of these third party toys, like, um, I have this guy right here. One sec, like this boy, um, this dino. Yes. Oh, I remember that from the picture. Yeah. I, uh, like this guy's not out yet. And I was just like, I, I wasn't one of the people they just like auto selected to get it. Like I wasn't mm-hmm. one of their original names. And I was like, yo, like I get views. Like I mm-hmm. would recommend sending me that. I will help your us boost. Here's my media pack. I get more plays than most people in this industry. Like I get crazy and I do a lot of content. No one is like working like I'm doing in this. And they were just like, no. And I was like, you guys are making a mistake. This is why and I, I work in sales. So like after like four days, they were like, all right, we showed my boss. He's down. And then I ended up helping them set up their TikTok and helping them with like Instagram strategies and how to like do their whole deal. And they were like, bro, forever on. And like, you know, Fury Toys, um, I, their shit looks dope. Like their little Leo, their big, uh, their big uh, tiger guy. And like I hit them up, they're going to be hooking me up with some stuff. And so I, I asked, you know, I don't, people don't just reach out to me and they're like, hey, let me give you something for free. I yeah. asked um, and, you know, I so, try to sell myself. 
So you put in the work. That's the key thing right there. You, yeah. If you want something, you got to go for it, bro. Oh, yeah. yeah. And not just go knock on your door and say, here you go. I love yeah. it. Touch fest and, 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 and go and, and go <clears throat> and go balls deep. Yeah. <laughs> That's amazing. Let's, so listen, so since we have you here and we have the Slugfest guy, do you, like, let's do something like a, let's yeah. make this like a review. Like, could you tell us yeah. about this guy and, and why so, should we buy it? Yeah, yeah, for sure. So first off, if you know about like the Mezco line, Slugfest is the mascot for the store. So very anticipated, like highly anticipated fig. He's like the face of their store on their website. There's like a Slugfest icon. So it was a matter of time. But one of the first features that kind of like stick out are the lights on in the head. Yeah, Those yeah. are just kind of a cool feature, super detailed, great paint on him. Um, his size is like awesome. Like he's like bigger than the standard figure, but not like too big that you need to set up different dioramas because I love a big fig. But if it's too big, like I have the space vortex suit, I don't know how to shoot that yet. It's massive. Uh -huh. um, so it kind of fits in the normal thing. What's also dope is like this suit doesn't hinder like any articulation, which I always love because Mezco can do that. They've mm -hmm. been better about not making that a possibility. And then it has like, what's also just like a nice little touch is like body paint, like underneath, like you don't oh. have to do this with the toy. Like yeah. you really don't, but like mm -hmm. the fact that they do to me just goes the extra mile. And I'm sure, you know, I'll take pics with like half shirted on, like on a hot day or something like that. Mm -hmm. And because it's a Mezco property, just one more little feature. So like it's a single jointed elbow. But to, that they're smart, they put springs in this wrist gauntlet here. So you like can actually like retract this and get like a higher range of motion, which is just like a nice little touch that doesn't break the aesthetic. It actually like builds into the aesthetic, which I appreciate. And then you get some dope accessories. Like they give you an anvil, mm -hmm. which is like, you see them like swinging it around in their video. It gets a little jug of alcohol, which is like always cool. Like I use Mezco accessories for so many different picks because they just they're really well detailed and then he comes with this like war axe that's like crazy like uh, yeah. yeah it looks good yeah this thing will look so dope about the dog yeah and then this dog man like i'm a i'm a huge dog fan myself and this thing is so dope like i thought he got like, jaws like a crocodile yeah <laughs> yeah it's like a little like spidery robotty dog and then they give you like a leash for him and there's a little thing to like whip around his um his anvil and then you get like a like a little like rumbler here to like grind someone's face down which is cool and mm -hmm. and to me because i now care like i was saying i read about something and i'll care about it more so i care about their line like i've seen him like teased in comics and like he's the face of their website so i've been like one day slugfest will come so like finally getting him i was like oh this is definitely better than i thought he was even going to be i didn't have bad expectations i just he just he kind of impressed me with what I thought it would be and like just like a lot of detail on this thing like it's a little dirty like he's been working in Greece right. I really like both heads like I don't think one is better than the other but like this is kind of a standard so I put this one on instead but yeah and I, I really think he pairs perfect with him and then they have another character Hawk P40 they just all like they mesh very well so a lot of I have a lot of ideas like them fixing a bike or fixing the vortex shoot suit or like him like kind of selling weapons because he is the emporium he sells the toys so yeah i just it gives me like a lot of ideas re-inspires me to play with the other figures i had and then like an anvil is a great accessory for any toy line the punisher working on his bike in the garage you know so like me yeah. first time seeing that figure on, on the website i was i didn't know he had little ass legs though. yeah <laughs> yeah you know, he looks like, like a kind of like uh, I don't know if I can say this, but like a midget type of thing, like or or or, or kind of like a gorilla, like he built like a gorilla. Yeah, 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 yeah. a silverback. <laughs> yeah. Back. yeah, look at that. He's husky. Yeah, he's husky. And, and, no, he's cool. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Good ab crunch, because you know, comrade always. There is no ab crunch. What? On him, it's a lower waist uh movement so it's like his torso is bulky as hell so like it does get bent over though but it's like at the waist instead of the ab oh, okay okay that's awesome hey i can't front man um listening to you talk about it and you seem excited and um i can't i, I can't lie i always and i admire you because i see that you you are you're into one thing right mm -hmm. even though you you got other things but this is your bread and butter. You love the Gomez, the Mezco stuff. That's you. 
Mm -hmm. I always wanted to be like that. I always wanted to find one thing that I like, you know what? I love everything. I'll try anything, but this is mine though. Like this yeah, is yeah. my go-to. I must have it. I have mm -hmm. to get it. And it's like, damn, I just don't have that kind of discipline, but I want to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I want to. Seriously. Thanks. I'm kind of like stuck now. It's my name on here. So I'm like, okay, <laughs> this is it. Like there's days where I'm like, am I more of a legends guy? And then I remember <laughs> what my name is. And I'm like, oh no, I am Agent Gomez. So that is what I do. But uh, I do, I really do love the line. I, I mean, especially like I, I just recently got like a real camera and like, dude, there's nothing that shoots better than Mezco. Like the way mm -hmm. that the light hits the clothing instead of bounces off plastic Seriously. is just like, yeah. damn, you can do so much. I agree. Mm -hmm. I agree. It's like it's like when you shoot the legends are fun. I have a yeah. few legends. They're fun, like you said. That they, they can pose extremely good when they make them right. When they put right. them mm -hmm. put them on the right bodies, they can move great. They look great. Yep. But a lot of times when you when you shoot them, especially with a real camera, mm. you can see the light. It's like mm -hmm. they, they look plasticky. Yeah, totally. Mm -hmm. And I Absolutely. hate that shit because it's because mm -hmm. even though we all know these are toys, we know that, but. Mm -hmm. You you you're doing art, so you want to give off that illusion that this is a real person or whatever. Right. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Yeah, versus like a storm collectible. They look yeah, like exactly. real skin tones, and you're like, wow, this is this plastic or is this like a real suit exactly. that he's wearing? Even mm -hmm. McFarlane, I'm not a big fan of them, but their shit, the way they're everything so texturized is like for 20 bucks, and the amount of content they pump is like if that was six inch, I'd be like obsessed, but like them too even compared to legends they do a lot more with what they have legends are yeah. kind of like cookie cutter just throwing yeah. faces on yeah. bodies like oh give them to the people give them to the people and they sell you know mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. we always say that uh mcfarlane what like and, and neither one of us like we mess with mcfarlane here and there yeah but we're not big mcfarlane fans either mm -hmm. um but we always say we like how he's not scared to tackle these different properties you see you got the mattel and the people who did batman before he came around mm -hmm. and they never touched you know stone age batman and yeah you know the you know batman who laughs and shit like yeah. they never touched these guys yeah mm -hmm. totally. even though totally. these guys were they, they're out there their source material on these guys mm -hmm. they just never touched them but mcfarlane touches everybody what yeah mm -hmm. they, oh. they just do it they're like whatever i <laughs> love that Pause. Yes. Pause. McFarlane ain't touched me. <laughs> as you tell. As you tell. <laughs> I love it, man. That's what's up. Hey, hey, Gomez. Yo, what's up? How you feeling about that uh, slugfest? What you thinking? Bro. Hey, listen, man. You give me the word. I'll do it with you. <laughs> Pause. Pause. Yeah. Yo. <laughs> hey, yo. Yo, we, look. We, we about to exit out and let y'all handle it. <laughs> A whole lot of players at one time, bro. You get a little too hot. Yo, so give me your word. I, hey, I get it with you. Y'all gonna buy it. Y'all gonna buy it. I'm not yeah. gonna buy it. I, I respect what Gomez is saying. Hey, I'm gonna tell you something while I got you here. Uh, <laughs> you, you said that you wanted to be like the amazing and all that. I'm gonna tell you something you ain't know. You're dope. You the man. You the man. You're dope, bro. You don't even need to shoot for that. You know what I'm saying? Respect. Thank you. Thank you. I'm, not, I'm not just saying that because because you on here. But when, we, <laughs> uh, when, when we talk about you. Like, oh shoot, Gomez got this, that, and that. Gomez got this. I said, let me holler at him. You know, I always say, let me holler at him, let me ask him this, and you will you will respond. So in terms of character and uh the amount of content and all that stuff, you already aim, you already hit the mark. Thank you. He's not the mark. So, you know, you, you're doing your thing and it's your it's your style. So and uh and we like to see what you're doing. So thank you. I appreciate that. And and when he was mentioning the amazing how like you know how he gets these products because you know they they like his work, and mm -hmm. me looking at your work on on on, on this character right now, um, mm -hmm. like best man, you like right there, bro. Yeah, you, you. you know, like yeah. I look at it and 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 I'm like, wow, you know. Mm -hmm. So you know, Thank you. since Conrad cut me off, um, real quick, <laughs> real quick, it's marvelous. If you hold me down, I'm down. Oh. Come <laughs> on, bro. How we you gonna, gonna ask for the spotlight? Then you gonna do some flaker <laughs> job like that, bro? We gonna talk out to the live. I got you, man. We gonna talk. <laughs> okay, <Yeah>. all right. <laughs> because I think I hawk um P P ninety. Yeah. I think it is. Yeah, yeah. Him and, and hey, he's go, man. Dope. 
Asian Gold Man, listen, bro. If I if I if I start collecting, I have a few uh Mescos in here. Uh-huh. I have like two Gomez or something like that. But if I start back to going back into Gomez, bro, I'm blaming it all on you. <laughs> That's bad. That's fair. I'm gonna ta- hey, tag. I'm gonna flood you. I'm gonna tag you. I'm gonna tag you in every shit I buy. Fair. You're like you ruined my life, man. No, hey. no, no. You Shout out, out to Asian phone. Gomez. Yeah. There's like a fucking eviction sign on. And you're like, great, Gomez. Great. Seriously. Hey. In the fucking alley. You're like, Fuck, dude. Yeah, yo, the, the same shit that freaking Conrad does when he tags me every time he goes to the fucking gym. Oh, I'm gonna be looking at my fat ass in the mirror like, <laughs> I'm gonna go get his milkshake. <laughs> you know, that's what he does. He tells me every time he goes to the gym, like, like I ask for that. Yeah, hey. <laughs> you're the closest in proximity. I gotta make sure somebody, <laughs> you know, see these thighs getting get, getting big. <laughs> but I'm serious though, man. I'm you, you got me really seriously over here considering, like, man, maybe I should. Damn, maybe I could. Like, I'm a hot toys person. Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah, love hot toys. Um, I think what's killing my love for hot toys though. Is because I currently don't have anywhere to display them. Yeah. Because I'm waiting on my Maju cases. Mm-hmm. Okay. And the way it's looking, I'll be waiting till next year. <laughs> oh. oh man. So I got so many dope hot toys, brand new hot toys, <laughs> never opened, by the way. Oh. Never seen the light. <laughs> never seen the light. And they just in my goddamn closet. So I think that's what's kind of killing my love for it. Maybe when I get my Maju cases and get them all set up, yeah, have everything in there. My be. love would come back, yeah. But I'm really, I want to really aim to like stick with one line and still mess with everything like you do. But yeah, this is mine. I won't get rid of this. This is mine. This guy's my signature. I like this, and totally, I like it, man. And uh, damn, you got me thinking, bro. Seriously, dude, yeah. like hot toys are dope. It's just like to your point, like dude, like you're gonna, you need a like a legit room if you're gonna be. <laughs> Dioramaing them or having like four people at a coffee shop. It's like, bro, you need a house. You need to be like wealthy to be collect, like shooting hot toys, like fire. Like Gomez does give you like Mezco in general. And like the fact that like, they're not like faces that have to be perfect with their line. A lot of their faces are good. Like they've gotten way better with their shit. Like their Solomon Kane that just dropped looks incredible. Yeah. Oh, and he's they're, mm-hmm. oh, it looks so good. But like, you, you really can capture that realistic look in a small space, like in, mm-hmm. on a table instead of like, oh, I have a room that is just and fucking posters painted off to like get backdrops and shit. So I really like Mezco for that. Mezco's good, dude. They're they're like fun too to be a collector with because like it's like if you know, you know type of thing. Like randomly they're like, oh, all right, drop it two o'clock on a Thursday and it's like the hype is real. Like, can I get it in? Like, will I miss the cutoff window? Like you do get that, but like they – they also like make sure you kind of get it. Like they give you a few t- windows. Like if you're into the toy, you will probably get it if you're on the mark with it. But it's fun, dude. I just I like being a men's code collector. It's the most fun line to interact with. And they reshare. Like I remember what changed my page was I posted this picture and then I woke up in the morning and I had like 300 followers and Mezco reposted, not like reshared in their story. They re they took my picture off their page and like reposted it mm-hmm. on their page. And like, mm-hmm. put a little caption like, "What's your favorite band?" or "What are your weekend plans?" And like, ever <laughs> since that day, like, my algorithm just like sped up. Where like, instead of getting, I used to get like twenty six likes and be like, "Yes, twenty six people saw this, <laughs> yes." And then it was like, "Oh, one hundred and eighty," and I was like, "What?" And then it was like two hundred thirty, and then it just, then I did kind of what I had to do, and uh, it just continued to build and build and build. But that moment like really changed my page. And I like that about plunderlings and like animal warriors of the kingdom. They yeah. interact with you. They're like, yo, we see you. Like, thank you for buying our stuff. Yep. And it's just like a cool relationship to me. I think that's mm-hmm. fun. And, and, and you talking about that experience. I had the same experience. Same exact one. Um, I, mm-hmm. I did a photo a long time ago of Captain mm-hmm. Marvel. Mm-hmm. Okay. Like the, the, the Damasco one. And, and yeah. I did space. And, and then I had the, like the, the whole space atmosphere. So I had the energy and the glowing eyes. Not too much. Just perfect. And all mm-hmm. of a sudden, um, Mesco like took the photo, and he did the same thing. They they put it on their page, and they was like, "Would you ever, if you could go to one planet, what planet would you go on?" And stuff exactly. Like that. Yo, yeah. I got hella followers because of that shit. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. And I think I hit them up. Like m- my brother's here, and I'm like, "Yo, we made it." <laughs> yeah, hundred percent, dude. Girl, uh-huh. that's, that's we yeah. made it. so hype. You know, yeah. and and. 
and like it was like a mission accomplished just the little things totally. like totally totally that's what's yeah. up i know i know that feeling bro i know that yeah. it's that's the best it's, yes so the, the 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 moral to this story is don't stop get it get it <laughs> seriously <laughs> sure. that's yeah. It. um yeah for sure dude. and they have comics like i don't know it's cool like i don't buy comics anymore as much because i can go online yeah. and i don't want to read a one-off i want to read like the series when it's done so i can like really mm-hmm. dive in and like dude just when you get like a you kind of know like how fire the thing's gonna be it's like oh they threw a comic in oh shit and then you're like your tease like what's coming out and then also like you get the comic and it's like look out on thursday and you're like thursday and like yeah. they were like putting in decoder rings, giving you like seventies vibes. Where you're like, wait, what's this box for? And then it was like, in the comic, use the decoder ring for this. Then Tuesday, you're like, oh shit, I have the decoder ring. And then it's like, oh, thirty percent off. Like it's dope, and the points are fire. Like I bought this mech suit for like sixty bucks because mm-hmm. it was like a three hundred dollar figure, and like you you earn points when you buy from them. And like I had so many, I was able to just get it like almost for free. I was like, this is amazing. It just like it's a dope company. I really like them. I'm not gonna lie. Um, um, I went to Mexico and I had points, but you cannot use those points on the exclusive figures. Exclusive stuff, no. Mm, you don't use it on regular figures. Only regular figures. Only regular figures. All the, all the merch. So I'm like, yo, mm. I want to use this shit so bad. I had an itch. So I was like, you know what? I saw the skull sweater. The, uh-huh. the, uh, the three skulls. Okay. Pink. Um. The, yep. the pink skull. Yeah. Yeah, so it's the black hoodie with the pink skulls. Dude, that shit is so fire. That's I dope, got yeah. like $15 because I had the coupons or some shit. The points. Nice, yeah. And Do I you got- have those, Gomez? Do you have those pink skulls? Uh, no, I have the ones that came in like the Toy Fair. Oh, oh, the skulls themselves, yeah, I have like a shit ton of them. I have a lot. I have like every skull release they've made. I have like triples of some of them just because I... We'll take pictures, like army build them kind of thing. Uh, they're mm-hmm. fucking pink skulls? army builder. Yeah, the pink skulls. Damn. The PSCC. I have a, I have a lot, and I've like bought in like singles, and like when COVID hit, I was like that was like a part time business for me, bro. I was like making money on those pink skulls because like eBay yeah. wasn't caught up to the toy community, so I would no. be like, oh shit, they're 60, 40, 60 bucks a pop. Buy ten of them, and then mm-hmm. people were spending one hundred eighty bucks per figure. So it was mm-hmm. like kind of crazy. It was like crazy. It was a, it was the craziest like buy sell experience I ever had. It was like. Right when COVID started, everyone yeah. getting stimmies. Especially the, the black skulls. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The black skulls on the the soldier ones. The, yeah, yeah. The black. Yeah. Brigade, uh, brigade, just something like that. Yeah, brigade. Uh, yeah, brigade. Yeah, I brigade, weirdly, yeah. dude, I got this. Um, it was like crazy. I don't do a ton of raffles, and like I'm weirdly lucky a lot of times. And I did this raffle where I put yeah. in ten bucks, bro, and I won out of a hundred people. So I got Whoa. six, I uh, six death brigades, and then mm-hmm. I got the the toy fair box but i already had like a lot of them so i was able to like mm. sell most of it i kept some of the uh the uh, black black death brigade people but mm. it was dope i was like what like it was a fire win it was like a thousand dollar win so many accessories bro yeah it come with a lot man yeah you can use it for everything 100 <laughs> percent. yeah mezco hits you like i have a fucking box of mezco accessories that i use with so much stuff like they're great with joe's because the explosion effects and like gun blast effects and they're just higher quality than you're going to get with has like i just got the uh gi joe chicks the two packs the valkyries and yeah. like it's cool to have effects but like dude they are plastic plastic like there's not paint on these things yeah, yeah. i got i accidentally got two of them but uh they're just like they're, i don't know i was very like lackluster with it they don't fit right to me i love the joe line like i think they do great things but that pack i was like eh and the accessories were they gave it to us but that's how i felt <laughs> yeah i like you know the, hey, i like the way he does that like he doesn't say anything <laughs> negative he just doesn't say anything too positive hey. and you can understand the difference when he yeah. goes <laughs> I, I like these girls it's, it's it's a little different you know to me hmm. um because i always wanted like the cobra chicks like you know because i i got the guy so i was like let me get some trust i did too trust <laughs> i have i think i have like 15 of the dudes literally like 15. so i bought i have four of the girls i have them cool <laughs> um, but yeah i mean you know they're really, I, like dude like i the fact like well, the, I, I am so ocd with shit. so like if the accessories are falling off left and right i need to okay. fix it i'm not just like great this toy's fucking shitty I'm like, I'm like, no, I can't even rest right now. Like, I, if you, I do a lot of tutorials, bro. I, I unbox toy and I'm like, nope, 
boiling water in the middle of like I yeah like every toy I, I don't open them unless I unbox them so and I don't let it sit for like more than a few hours so I'm getting the toy like psh, unboxing reel and then I'm like oh no shitty let me melt the face plate like put some like I hate sticky tack I think it's just like cheap and temporary I'm like let me replace the head socket dremel it out or key keys well, on the wrists or key keys in the legs so it's like sturdy like and the more work I have to do the more like resentful I get sometimes I'm like damn like so with the Joe chicks I was like oh cut the heads off like cut all the torsos out, like lube up areas, like thick in ah, certain man. areas. Like it was oh. just immediately like an hour of work, but it's so whatever. They're cool. I'm happy to have them, but I <laughs> think they could have done better. Yo, he give you so much value for a minute and 30 seconds. I, <laughs> if you really, really think about it, he saved me a few times, bro. And I was like return stuff. And he was like, nah, man, just, just boil it. Just boil it. Cut this. Dude. Yeah, and I'm like, bro, he he help you to enjoy it a little bit better, but he had to go through the this discomfort of like knowing it was trash, and then you know try to make it better, you know, because he yeah, bought dude, it. This <laughs> is one I can't fix. This is garbage. <laughs> the good, the dude, good. <laughs> like fuck you, Kong Studio. Like actually, like I was I was pissed. I was like, damn, like this is bad. And I was like, why didn't anyone say this? Everyone was like, oh my god, it's the I best. I'm selling it for 150 bucks. I was like, yeah. You're all I crazy. Like, let me, let me, good? let me explain something to you really quick. Nah, yeah, nah yeah, yeah. Fuck that. Fuck that. Yo, comrade right here, he yeah. sold me his. He oh, knew that shit was garbage. I didn't even <laughs> touch it. I didn't touch it. So nah. what happened was, what had happened was, you know how that go. What had happened was I bought it and I thought the price point was a bit too high for this. You know, I thought it was a little too expensive. So when I bought it, I instantly had regret. I was like, ah, I already committed to the pre-order. When I got yeah. in my hand, I'm, I'm like, yo, this junk is going to go up for real. So I tell collector, I say, you want it? And he's, I say, pay this much for you. How much? I sell it to him. As soon as I sell it to him <laughs> on eBay that day, them things was like 300 bucks, bro. Two yeah, bro. Two yep. and a chicken. And I was like, bro, what's going on? So everybody's trying to get it. Uh, uh, 5K Toys knows it's up. They're like, hey, we're going to re-release one per person. Now, all of a sudden, it's a limit. I'm like, yep. bro, these people are going crazy. And all of that just so they can take the face and the hair and put it on something else. Or yeah, take yeah. the body and put it on another Goku. So, you know, that's all That's all the hype. It's just the third party. It's the third um, 3.0 body that they want. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, but it sucks. It's not a good one. I was like, bro, give me Tamashi, dude. Like, fuck Tamashi, this. Like, Figure Arts it, wins it. 2023. Figure Arts destroyed this year they are yeah they, they good. blew my mind this year mm -hmm. like they're the, the carnage and venom they've made unbelievable the chainsaw man and i knew that this yes. was going to disappoint me but i was like let me just see and i'm pissed i was like Fuck. Yes, oh, man. chainsaw man hey. bro in my top of the year bro that whole line is crazy yeah crazy so far but, i got them all thanks yeah. to to um fuck bnt toys and and and, and the Mars action well, you about to freeze up like that dude that would be with the president? <laughs> Bro, it's been a long ass day. Don't, don't uh, blame me, son. <laughs> Mr. President. <laughs> what? Yo, yo check, check me out. I got, uh, I'm going to do something real quick called a high five. So I'll like, give you like five little lightning round questions. No big deal. Yeah. Make do, a high, do a high six. Cause I got one question too. Okay, okay cool. We're going to throw six in. Make, make your mama proud. <laughs> Humans will watch this. So just, just no pressure, big pressure. So you're just gonna answer as quickly as you can in the first sixty yeah. seconds. You know, if and then if you don't answer, then we'll just start chiming in and stuff like that. Yeah. So uh, the first one is name the last movie you ever saw. Um, I just watched Blue Beetle. Blue Beetle. Nice. So, you did you like it? Loved it. Yeah. No expectations. Super fun. Really. Oh, fun. great! That was fantastic. Great family movie. One one of the next one is. One of these is hot garbage. Mezco, DC, Marvel, Star Wars. I love Star Wars, but their toys are garbage. Fucking shit. Worst toys I've ever had. Black Series is the worst toy line on the market. Trash. Damn. Garbage. I mean, how do you really feel? Trash. Garbage. I hate it. Black I actually hate it with a passion. Yeah. It hurts. I yeah. love Star Wars. Worst toys I've ever played with. Yeah. It's like, uh, it's like bad food with good seasoning. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah. It looks good. It's almost like you know, it's cool, you know, for what uh, a six-inch figure. But then it's like the articulation's ass. 
how dare they? It's like, come on, what are you doing? I do have all their TVs. I collect their TVC now because it's the same articulation for like $12 a toy. And at right. least I get like the memorabilia aspect of it. So that's cool. <laughs> but like, bro, their black series, I want to like, I'm pissed. I had a shitload of them. I literally sold them one day. I was like, nope, all out, done. Now, going up in price. Uh, the next one is uh, these two toy lines together will be unstoppable. Oh, um, I'm going to say. That's a good one. That's a, that's a really good one. I'm going to say give it to Mafex. Mm-hmm. I think Mafex is killing the game right now on like articulation and like aesthetic. And then I will give it to fuck, uh, Mafex. And I think He-Man would be pretty cool with Mafex. I think that would be a pretty dope toy line, like He-Man, Mafex. So if Mattel and Mafex got together, basically? Yeah. Yeah, if they got together, I think they could do some pretty dope things. So I think the He-Man toys are dope looking for Mattel. And like I've watched their Netflix shows and I, I wasn't grown on it, but it's dope. Yeah. And but they just they're a little cheap, and I think if those two like kind of infuse, that could be a dope combo. Yeah, those licenses, man. Now, Mafex on He Man, come yeah. on, crazy. Mafex, uh, what's it called? Mega Man, that also would be tight. Like, if, I know Jaded just got them, I'm pumped. But yeah. if Mega Man hit a Mafex line too, that'd be tight, like double jointed everything, just beautiful paint. That'd be, that'd be dope. Very cool, very cool. Um, uh, your childhood movie star crush who had the biggest titties. <laughs> uh, maybe like Lindsay Lohan, Mean Girls. Mean, Who that? mean Girls. Maybe like Lindsay Lohan, Mean Girls era. Lindsay. What's the other girl that kind of looked like Lindsay? She in every other movie. She's uh, she was Gwen Stacy. Oh, uh, Emma something. Yeah, like she Emma got this. Emma Stone. Yeah, Yo, like- well, you know who I like is that girl from um, Jurassic Park. Oh yeah. That oh yeah. Bryce Howard or whatever. Yeah, yeah. yeah she can- was that? Fire, bro. Yeah, the chick with the red hair. Yeah, from oh, the lost the, world. Oh, oh, she, yo, she was on Spider Man. Yeah, yeah. She played um, she was, she was, uh, she was the commissioner's daughter. Andy oh. Brock girlfriend, Spider Man Three. Oh, Tom oh, Raimi. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, mm-hmm. totally it right. took me a while to realize that. I was watching it like a few yeah, months back. I'm good with faces, bro. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't gotta know your call. name. If I see a face watching a movie, I mm-hmm. pause it and I say, "Who the hell is this person?" <laughs> That's I, I pause it and I Google the movie to get their name, mm-hmm. and then I instantly hop on Google to see all their movies. And you're I like, like oh, I like how Prime does that though. Prime, you, you go, oh yeah, love it. that. Yeah, that's a great feature. Really quick on faces, though. I was watching Fear Factor last week, and I'm watching mm-hmm. this girl eating scorpions. I'm like, she looks so familiar. I pause it, and today I got the confirmation. I went to my weed shop, and I was just like, what is the little older lady here? And they're like, oh, Monica. And I was like. Just saw her eating scorpions on Fear Factor. They were like, oh, yeah, she did, like, 15 years ago. And I was like, I knew it was her. She was all, like, she was a savage, but I knew it. It was crazy. I was like, yeah, he's hot. All right. There we go. There we number, go. Number five is, finish this statement. Uh, I Ever since I started collecting, fill in the blank. I need a bigger house. <laughs> I wanted a bigger home. There we go. Love nice. it. Here we go. Love it. So my question for you is, if you can show us, show us. If not, tell us your your favorite fig out of all the figs you own. One. What's Ooh, your favorite? Agent, fig? Agent Gomez. Agent Gomez. Which one? Classic OG. Classic OG. What started it all for me. That just holds like a special place in my heart. I was like, bro, you brought me in like that that specific toy, like the actual Agent Gomez. I love all of his variations for sure. But like mm-hmm. the classic Agent Gomez, like wearing a suit and chucks, a roach with a briefcase with a gun pulling out of it and a boom yeah. box that like loves him. Mm-hmm. And like little like grub, I was like, oh shit. And yeah. like Lone Roach too, have a lot of love. They're all of their, dude, it's a fun, I love, yeah. They 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 hit hard for me. I'm just like, damn, dude, the chucks and a suit, like chucks and ninja yeah. outfit, like fire. Mm-hmm. There you go. Bruce Lee and Chuck's like, fuck, wow, yeah. so good. <laughs> Bro, I wonder how much it would take now if somebody wanted to just just gangbang the whole set. Like, I want to get the whole, everybody. Hey, yo. Hey, yo. How much money do you think that would take? I, like, I would say, like, with the retail going up, for the Gomez's alone, I would say probably, like, 4K, maybe 4K. 5K. And if you do Rumble Society, you're probably See? talking, like, 8k 7k for rumble society i believe it 
It's not cheap. Those not a bad, way to, a not, not a bad yeah. way to spend some income tax money, though. That's true. That's this true. Man, that shit in five minutes. This <laughs> makes me happy. Yeah. Stay in five minutes. Go, man. My question for you is, what's one toy line that you would never collect and why? Uh, what's on, one I, toy line I won't collect? I um, Star like, Wars City, but yeah. are we? Uh, yeah, like, but I do collect their TBC. I don't really do. Um, damn, dude, I'm like I'm a slut, bro. I'm, I'm <laughs> buying everything, like for real. Like <laughs> I can't think. Like I want to say Jack Pacific, but I got those Mario toys. Like yeah. I would say like fucking Hot Wheels, maybe or some Barbie shit like that. I'm probably never gonna buy. But like uh, anything. So what about Funko like, to um Funko Pops? Do you collect Funko? Oh yeah, they can fuck off. Yeah. That's yeah. <laughs> they can, they can fuck off. yeah yeah i give credit to photo um uh funko pops toy photographers out there yeah they look like they're having fun with it and mm -hmm. they could do it i just can't but lost, remember, remember, lost. <laughs> remember plate, when you're playing with statues and you're like look they're talking i don't know like <laughs> yeah yeah there's no face expression you gotta have a big ass imagination man yeah <laughs> <laughs> or like chunks of your brain missing and you're like i think they're moving and you're like oh yeah <laughs> oh, yo funko's didn't used to um they used to be like freaking you know they was like real bobbleheads and now they got action poses and little dioramas and it's still too yeah. expensive for whatever it is so I'm, I'm amazed they're holding on i thought they were gonna die out a long time ago dude um, they suck like i i when i first started i was like flipping shit so i have some just like in a box but like i literally tried to sell them like four times and i'm like yeah. Who would want these? Like, how many don't want these? They suck. Not even children want them. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I heard from the grapevine. I'm not gonna gonna say no name because I don't know if, if he wants to, you know, me to talk about it. But from a, a toy store owner, um, he's saying that these Funko Pops are not. It's not where it's at anymore. And it's never been. Yeah, it kind of never been. But it's like really no point to the fact that he's he's giving them away. Yeah. Like, yeah, it's, they were exclusive. What? They were limited in the beginning, and then they hit like COVID changed this market. I'm sure you guys all noticed that. And like <laughs> since then, there's not as much demand, and there's mm -hmm. not as much like, and there's more supply. So it's like they they like you. It's never been so easy to get toys. Now it's kind of like fuck. I can get everything. Now it's like how much do I want to spend? Like it used right. to be like, oh, I'm not gonna get these right now, or this is pushed out a year and a half. Like mm -hmm. I remember the golden days when like DBZ was like one a month, one every other month. I was collecting a figure, spending 40 bucks every other month. And I was like, this is a great hobby. And right. then it was like really delayed in COVID. Like it ramped mm -hmm. up mm -hmm. really delayed. And now it's like two or three a month. And when you're like, fuck, yeah. bro, I can't keep up. Like, this is nuts. Yeah. No, I said, that's all I was saying when I was collecting Mezco's at the time I was, it was, it was like mid COVID. And I was telling Marvelous, I'm like, yo, if I go at this rate, man, I get like two Mezco's a month, man, I, I could do this. And something happened, and it was like, I was like, "Yo, I don't think I could keep up," because he's telling me when there there's another release, and it's like sneaker drops. He's like, "2 p.m. You gonna be ready?" I'm like, "Man, I don't think yeah. I have money to do this. I gotta sell some <laughs> ass." Yeah, for sure, for sure. <laughs> not, I'm not ready, bro. Hey, like, I'm that's, that's how it was. If you notice, though, even you as you go, man, as you notice, um, people still love Mesco, but. The hype is not how it was. I remember I started collecting 2019. And that was the hottest point for them for sure. Bro, like hot. Yes. Yeah. Right there was hot. Man, I'm talking about I was I was a truck driver at the time. And uh the Ronin, the Mesco Ronin popped yep. out. And I had to pull over to try yeah. to get it. Yeah. And the damn site crashing. I always yep. crash. Yeah. And it cra yeah, it crashed within the first fucking 10 seconds on there. Yeah, mm -hmm. and maybe a few hundred people got it, and every it was all sold out because mm -hmm. those people were buying five and six at a time. Yeah, so it's like it was like that. Even twenty nineteen, maybe twenty twenty, a little bit yeah. of twenty twenty one as well. But mm -hmm. when COVID like really hit, a lot of that um, excitement, in my opinion, went down a little bit. Totally. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So now if you look at it now, you can go on there and get whatever you want. Shit. Damn. Yeah, I get it's true. Right, mm -hmm. so like, like for example, this guy here. If this guy had it dropped in 2019, mm -hmm. sold out in one minute. Shit, mm -hmm. right. So now, yo, he's still up for buy right now, right mm -hmm. now. Yeah. So to yeah. the yeah. point where it's like, people still like love Mexico. Don't get it wrong, but mm -hmm. the hype is just not there anymore because I feel like a lot. It sounds crazy, but COVID happened. A lot of people died. 
So seriously, no. like a lot. Yeah. Of, yeah. I, I say, man, a lot of people died during COVID. Yeah, so it's like you know, the world is not as big as it was at that time. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, people' interests have changed. People' mm-hmm. lifestyles have changed. People, yeah. you know, got married since then, had kids since then. Yep. They were working from home. They could yeah. go in hard on these toys. And now they're like, oh, I'm in a job. I'm never home to play with these things. I can go to yeah. bars again. Like, it, yeah, for sure, dude. And there was a – and also that stimulus money changed the Ooh, toy economy, bro. Yeah. People were like, oh, I need to pay $85 for uh, Moon Knight. Like, that was crazy to me. Or a Ghost Rider on the bike. I'll pay 120 bucks, And it's like, yeah. I'm not – I hate paying over retail. So I was like, I'm going to wait until a magic moment happens. But, like – that that is slowed down. Now you get literally laughed at in Facebook groups, like you savage bitch. And yeah. it's like <laughs> if they want to fucking. Oh, they are super you know. sensitive. I thought Instagram was bad, but no. No, I'd be, I'd be oh, yeah. Facebook's. I'm on Facebook a lot because that, that's the best. You can't get you can't get deals like you get on Facebook. I've gotten like unbelievable deals on mm-hmm. Facebook, like like almost fake. Where I'm paying, and I'm like, I might get beat, but it's thirty bucks, and I'm like, all right, <laughs> like, it's crazy. It's hey, crazy. I'm to, I'll be trying to tell you guys the Facebook. Like especially if you know somebody, right? Who, who runs those groups over there? Yeah, yeah. That does those raffles and stuff? Mm-hmm. They be having some amazing shit in those raffles. Seven dollars a slot, eight dollars a slot. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's still, it's still luck. You have to be lucky, right? But mm-hmm. if you look at it, seven dollars a slot at fifty slots, mm-hmm. seven dollars is not a lot of money. Mm-hmm. No. You can literally go over there and buy 10 slots if you want, 15 yep. slots, and mm-hmm. just space them shits out. Yeah. So you have, you know, give me one, three, seven, 10, 15. You can space them shits out. Yep. Mm-hmm. Especially when the toy's like a $200 toy, and you're like, all right, I'm going to spend 80 bucks on the raffle right That's now. That's my I'm point. Gonna, like, mm-hmm. and then like every other one, statistically speaking, you're going to win like one in every third. And like, that's kind of how I look like, dude, in COVID, I, I'm like, I probably won like 12, 13 raffles and like, oh, I, I'm up like thousands of dollars on toys <laughs> than what I spent into it. Like, yeah. and there's exactly what you said, bro. Like there's this, there's this one head that will literally every one of them. He's just like, uh, it's like when you gamble, he's like a hundred and then he loses that one. He's like, all right, 120. And then he wins. And then it's just like, all right, a hundred. And so he's up, like he will ball out, but he wins. Like he's, yeah. he's up for sure. And, but, but you wow. know, that's the best way to be though. Um, I entered, I, Told the story last time I was here, but you didn't hear it probably. I, I um, a, AZ Fix, you know AZ Fix? Yep. Okay, mm. cool guy. He does these hot toy raffles. Mm. And I entered a raffle with uh, AZ Fix. My first raffle, $20. And I was like fucking a month ago, my first raffle ever, I won. He picked oh, me. Nice. I won. He choose my, he, choose, he, uh, he hit me on the side, you choose your prize. Instantly, I chose the, the newest hot toy black panther like Fire. for twenty dollars twenty dollars crazy. So crazy now i'm fucking addicted he just did one <laughs> two days ago yeah and i see the prizes he got i'm like oh my god shit hey man uh give me slot one and give me slot 14. Oh and i'm seeing the slots not filling up because you know how it how it goes yep. we can't yep. run it until everything is bought right yep i'm like god damn it's it's four slots left in I'm gonna these buy them all. Is not buying. Fuck it, I'm gonna just buy them all. I give me all the incredible slots. <laughs> yeah, totally, totally, dude. I, I'm buy them all. It's so addicting. It's so fun when you it's win. Hey, he rolled it up to AZ things like, let me get a uh, four, five, six, and a Cuban sandwich. And a yeah. Cuban sandwich. Yeah, and a Sprite. Tell my wife, bro. I'll be homeless. Yeah, like, no, I get it. Bro. Yeah, no, man. it's it's so fun. And the Facebook has a lot of them, and like all the different toy groups. So like. You could and like some days you're just like all right like maybe you don't want to spend a hundred dollars on a mafex toy but there's like six or seven toys you want you're like all right i'll get two on three raffles like you know 20 bucks here 15 bucks here you spend 45 bucks and like you win sometimes it's crazy like the more you you know i play to win but like the more you play the more you win for sure seriously man i'm i'm in um podong you know podong as well podong Mm -hmm. put me in a um facebook group group. he's running Mm -hmm. over facebook And bro, I've ent- right now I'm entered in like six different raffles. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Seven dollars, yes. fifteen dollars, yeah. twenty dollars. Hey, you know you get. He want twenty five dollars a slot, but he's running a special. You get three. I mean, you get two slots. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For thirty dollars, shit yeah. like that. Wow. Yep, yep, yep. Bro, and I'm entered all of them. <laughs> and I, I check it daily. Like, god damn, nobody ain't bought yet. To the point. I know. I know. <laughs> yeah, dude. So. Hey, I'm like a crackhead right now. I'm over here. <laughs> I'm at work and shit, checking my phone, looking. 
Like, damn, yeah, nobody dude. caught yet. What's it's just so like Burger King coupons, bro. Like, it's <laughs> a two for five. Hey, dude. I'm addicted, and there's right? like that moment when it's like spinning and you're like, all right, if I, I in my head, I'm always like, if I watch it when it spins, I'll always lose. But like, <laughs> as soon as it's over, I'm going to watch it. And like, bro, the worst, then it glitches and you're like, who won? And then you're like, we got to respin. You're like, I probably won that shit. Yeah. He, hates me. he hates redhead people. I could tell. I could feel it. But no, like, it's, yeah, it, it gets me sick. But Yo, the, yeah, I is, love the worst thing is when, when, when you were on, on, you know, on, on the raffle, and mm. the wheel spinning, and you like, yo, collector's still in it. <laughs> collector's still in it. And then, boom, collector got eliminated. Yeah. No, we'd be saying that, right? We'd be like, yo, we need to do the giveaway, because Marvel does do a giveaway on, after his, his auction thing. And I'm like, don't say my name. Don't say nobody's <laughs> name, bro. Whoever you want to win. Siri doesn't want you to win. So don't yeah, say the name. He was like, yo, collector's still in it strong. I promise you, I clock out. I, I I got a spot. I was clocking out. I said, "Yeah, man, I'm clocking out to work. I'm in this bitch now." As soon as I say something, yeah, comrade, and I got put out. I said, "Look, uh, I done clocked out and I got kicked out." That's hundred uh, percent, dude. Two seconds. That's <laughs> you know, exactly me, man. Man. So, um, I'm going to steal a, a question from Marvelous that he he usually says. Um, so, do you see yourself still collecting in the near future? Like, do you still see yourself doing this? When you get older, I mean, yeah, I feel like I'm getting older already. I'm, I'm like 32 next week, uh, next month. Um, and mm-hmm. I, I mean, bro, I'll probably do this forever, bro. I'll probably, huh? If I, you, if I tell you my age, you, mind blowing. I'm 40. Mm-hmm. He's yeah. 60, bro. Are you? 40? He's yeah. 40 years old. 60. That's not old. 40. Not You're old. Like 60? Yeah. 60. <laughs> you know. Oh, He's 40. 40 ain't old okay. these days. 40 nah, year olds yeah, are 32. Old. It's close. Yeah. So we're close. We move, bro. we move in like 20 year olds in this job, bro. Hell yeah. yeah, no. I uh I, I mean I I imagine like I'll get into this with my kids, teach them how to like take care of toys. I'll get my kids into I hope my kids are into this shit, like just so I can like share that with them. But I'll kids now? No kids yet. Soon. Okay. But not yet. That's time. We're trying soon. Yeah. That's time. Oh, man, no, it's time for that, bro. Take your time. It's a beautiful thing, I'll tell you that much. Straight up. It's a lot of work, but it's a beautiful thing. So if you could give some advice to um, young Gomez that still um, needs some milk and he got, he got the hair on his chest yet, and you say, hey, man, we about to, this thing going in, by Instagram about to start, uh, you should do what? What, you, what kind of advice would you give to your younger self? Oh, my God. I would, I would tell him to find people that have more likes than you, copy their tags, and, like, understand their style study it and do something similar but like make it your own and if you're not passionate get the fuck out like i'd be like bro if you love it get the fuck in if not like it's it's going to be too much work but like this is work this is fun but this is work and Mm -hmm. i uh Mm -hmm. luckily it's a work that i thoroughly enjoy but like bro i do this every night i'm not trying to do it half the nights i do it but like after i'm sitting in it and i'm like all right, that photo sucks. All right, but kind of that. Uh, and then after like 20, 30 minutes, I'm like in the groove. And, you know, mm-hmm. I would just, yeah. So I would tell them to like, you know, stay vigilant, stay passionate and like look up, find people that you want to be better than or like set goals for people. You're like, all right, I'm coming for him and like study them and try to make yourself better in your own way. Not that this is art, so it's very subjective, but yeah. there's a, there's, if, uh, yeah, I, I know what I mean by that. But uh, yeah, there's some people now that I've like, now that I have a camera, I'm like, there's so, like artists out here doing crazy shit that I want to like hit now. Like I want to so, start to get to like crazy <laughs> shit. Yeah. There we go. You heard that? He's yeah. coming for you at SummerSlam. He's coming. Yeah. <laughs> you got the camera now. <laughs> yeah. No, it, the camera changed shit though. I swear. As soon as I got the camera, bro, people were hitting me. Like companies were hitting me up like daily, immediately. Immediately. Like I'm like, bro, it's crazy. In my email every day, I'm getting some type of opportunity. Like it's crazy. I want to. I want to. I want to introduce you to my stepdad, uh, right up there above you, marvelous. <laughs> he believed in me when no one else did. I had a phone and I was out in these streets thugging it, and he yep. was like, "Just let me give you the camera." He gave me the camera to try, Whoa. And, I, and I promise you, I was like, "Bro, this. I, I don't know how to do this. This is like using the internet for the first time." He's like, "Man, just take your time, figure it out." Took me like a few months. Start shooting with the camera, and I was like, "Oh, this does that." I could only do one or two things, and I would yep. ask him a bunch of questions. Say, "You too, man. You too." It's like, "Thanks, Dad." <laughs> <laughs> Get a cookie, son. Good job. Hey. I believed in you, boy. Hey, you, you know, know hey, hey, you know, marvelous love the kids. You know, marvelous love the kids. 
Hey, listen, man. Listen, go, man. We're not going to keep you all night, bro. Yeah. Um, because you got the early flight in the morning, so we ain't going to hold you too long. But and have a really safe, a, huh? Have a safe trip. Oh yeah, yeah. Definitely. Definitely. be careful, man. And um, we really appreciate you spending time with us, and you know, giving us all these jewels, dropping all the hints to people. Listen, before yeah. we let you go, if um, <clears throat> is there some. What could you, what, what would you tell somebody who's new and upcoming to the toy for top with toy game toy world? They're trying to get into it and they perhaps want to be like you or something more better than you, perhaps. Mm. What would you tell them? I if would I, say, I, yeah, yeah, for sure. I would say this, even though it's fun, it will be work and mm. hopefully you fall in love with this. But like, and in order to be come in late, you you have to work hard. So, like you know, plan on doing it every single, it's like music. Like I play music as well. Like do that shit often, frequently. So you don't need as much warm up time, right. practice, fail and post and repeat. Like my shit sucked in the beginning. Like I made a reel about it. It was hard. I'm worse than I would say mostly everyone I've ever seen. Like I had some of the worst shit out there, but I knew like, I, I, I noticed things. I was like, Oh shit. Lighting. I am understanding this now. Oh, Oh wait, angling. Oh wait, wait, portrait mode. Like, Oh, editing pictures. And yeah. like, I like piece by piece, put it together. Don't try to do it all at once. It's not going to work. Break it up into pieces, practice one thing at a time and just practice and practice and practice. Mm -hmm. And you don't need as much practice the further you get. Now you just kind of like, oh, I'm hitting it off the bat today. Some days I'm like, oh, I suck. And like some days you'll suck. Some days it's put it down, bro. Go spend with your family. Like don't, don't try. Like, but mm -hmm. yeah, I would say practice a lot and work hard and it will, things can create crazy things happen. Like set goals for yourself and so you know where you're working toward and like they will come true. Everything I wanted to do in this industry is like happened. Like it's crazy. All of it, which is like dope. I need to get bigger goals now, you know? Yeah. Damn. Came full circle. That's what's up. That's so you hear that guy? This not to you guys, but just to the listeners. This is work and you won't get paid for it right away. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It, mm -hmm. it, anything that you believe in, anything that you that, that's worth fighting for, it won't come with a um, like what, what I'm trying to say, it won't come with a, a, a damn paycheck right away. No, nah, yeah, fact. things take time, bro. You gotta build that. Like you said, you got mm -hmm. these connections now. It takes yeah. time to build that shit, man. Mm -hmm. And a yeah. lot of people, a lot of people come into the game instantly wanting what you got or instantly wanting what he has, and you ain't put in no work. Right. And then if you tell them, oh well, I don't get paid for this. Mm. Well, you fucking knew that before you came here. <laughs> yeah, hundred <laughs> percent. That's right. Yeah. You fucking knew hey, that. Hey, you know, crazy yeah. though, like this YouTube thing, this broadcast is new to us. Yeah, new. yeah. Mm -hmm. um, we all started doing our individual. Of course, it's grown ass mentors, but I had Collector's Corner, mm -hmm. um, who's keeping it real with Conrad. I, I believe mm -hmm. is that one, and, mm -hmm. and the real marvelous shots. Um, so we all had like our own guests, our own everything. And we like, you know what? I think we all do great if we all together. You know. And, totally, and I wasn't. I, trust me, I, I hate. It. I was like, I'm not gonna do YouTube. I don't care. I ain't doing it. He was like, Yeah, yeah. we we gotta do it. You gotta at least try. Yeah, for sure. Try. Dude, you get opportunities out the ass. Even if you make money right away, like bro, that's like mainly who toy companies are giving shit to. That's how you're like getting paid for streams. Because like I do, I get paid on TikTok, and now Instagram has a new one, but it's pennies, bro. The yeah. only actual streaming money is on YouTube or like Twitch platform with like subscribers. Right. And it's like, you know, YouTube is the move. It's it's extra work, which isn't as easy as like IG, which is so fun and appealing to me at least. And mm -hmm. yeah, no, I think this is definitely the move for sure. Like I know that opportunity to go to Comic-Con. It's like, oh, the GMT crew. And it's like, mm -hmm. you guys get to unveil something or be on a panel. Like those opportunities, like that, that happens yeah. every day to people, you know? Yeah, yeah. That, that I'm worrying about. And, and, I, and I don't know if I'm overthinking it or... It, I guess all of us, it just comes natural. Like, mm -hmm. we're not trying to be like somebody else on YouTube. We're trying to be different. And we're trying to think, how can we do things differently? Because everyone is doing a toy review. Everyone's having guests. You know, mm -hmm. like, I'm thinking to myself, how can we stand out? You know? Mm -hmm. And so far, we just been ourselves. Yeah. <laughs> it's the only sauce we got, bro. That's like, the only thing we're working on. <laughs> Just microwave toys. So, like, want to see me burn an expensive toy? Just microwave it. Like, that's me. I watch the shit out of that, bro. That's me. I'm gonna set that shit on fire. Take it go. Light it up. Come on. The toy of the day that's true. Yeah, dude. I would watch someone burning come... hot toys all day. Yeah, we'll be... <laughs> and we're gonna come up with merch. I I'd rather burn that shit. 
Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, that'd be Seriously. crazy. Yeah, no, for sure. It's that's a smart idea though. Something that makes you like, you know, unique is always like Mm-hmm. entertaining to watch especially in like a flooded market right now like there's so yeah. much like this, this industry there's people in and out all the time and so consistency i feel is huge in here like people mm-hmm. come in they're like oh i got 500 and they're gone you never see them post again you're like oh okay he's done he probably died no but uh it's yeah <laughs> he, said he probably died <laughs> or or probably got hacked for like, like yo oh. yeah, bro i was on tiktok bro for like three months man and i was like man ain't no way i'm gonna get these numbers i got 500 i got hacked like that on TikTok. And I was like, you know what? It's not even worth the trouble anymore. All these little kids on oh. TikTok. I got time for these kids. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> who, won't, who, who will entertain all these kids? I, I don't, I know I won't. <laughs> so I just gave yeah. it up. But now that you oh. say you're on TikTok, I'm like, dang, bro, I gotta go back now. That's a quick up, which is dope. Like I remember like I was, I think like one month in and like I hit mm-hmm. one video and it was like, it wasn't me touching on the counter, like that mm-hmm. song. And I did like a Gohan with Android 18 and Krillin or Androids, whatever the girl is, 16, 15. And it mm-hmm. was like her cheating on Krillin yeah. with him. And like, bro, it blew up. Like, so I shot up on TikTok like to 15,000 and like, Dude, like a month. It was crazy. Like, and it wasn't really, I didn't, I didn't want to like tie anything together. It was all exclusive content. Yeah. Nothing that I do. I wasn't like I'm Agent Gomez. I'm plays with plastic over there. And mm-hmm. I don't want to branch off that success. I just wanted to like test myself. Like, all right, do I understand this like game? You know, like the tagging, the posting, and the frequency. And like it's a quick blow up, bro. People blow up on TikTok Straight very up. fast. Yeah. Huge numbers on TikTok. Yeah. They'll be quick to follow you. They're, they're definitely a lot less judgmental on TikTok. I, I can give you that, man. They'll, yeah. they'll follow you without even thinking about it. Yeah, 100%. It takes a little bit more convincing. Agreed, but agreed. We and appreciate I, it, bro. Again, bro, we really appreciate your time. Yeah. You have a safe trip, man. Um, We hope to do this again one day, real yeah. soon. Yeah. And uh, yeah, man, just take care of yourself, bro. And thanks again. We appreciate it. Again, yeah. hey, my name is Marvelous Shots. Paletta 425. Real comrade. Agent Gomez. And we, thanks for uh, thanks for showing us love. We appreciate everybody again. As you go, man. Thank you, bro. Appreciate thank all your you. time and support, man. Guys. Appreciate it. No problem. And you have a great night, man. Thanks a lot. Be safe on the trip, thanks, man. Guys. Have a good one. Thank you. Yeah, sir.